Uh, doing a live camera here on NBC 10 News at 5, a live look at the Washington Bridge. It, of course, connects Providence with East Providence. It's also the site of a unique linear park. You actually may have seen the signs as you drive over the bridge recently. The long-awaited pedestrian and bicycle bridge that crosses the Seekonk River is expected to open this Saturday and stay open on the weekends until the work is all done. I see it all the time. It was supposed to cost $20 million and open last year. NBC10 Money Watcher Bill Rapley got an up-close look at the new park today. It's new at 5. Finally, nearly three years after it was closed, the bicycle path along Route 195 between East Providence and Providence will be open just on weekends as work continues. But bikers are thrilled. It's been forever. It was supposed to be open as of last August. Right, right. Yeah. So you're looking forward to being able to ride over there? Yeah, I've been riding over the Henderson Bridge. I'm really pleased that Linear Park's going to open up. Critics have said $20 million is too much for a bike path when the state's roads and bridges are so dilapidated. DOT officials were unavailable to go on camera today, but put out a press release saying that the project did not just include a bike path, but also included rebuilding the Warren Avenue exit on the East Providence side of the bridge. That exit opened to traffic in September of 2013. Originally scheduled to open last October, the bike path and park on the bridge project is now slated for completion later this summer. The press release, the Department of Transportation talked about preserving the rich history of the bridge and suggested the work will support development in the area. While the path will be open in coming weekends, the release also warns the park will still be a work zone for the next few months. Concrete benches and signs need to be installed and there's still work underneath the span. No word in the release about why construction took eight months longer than scheduled or whether there are any cost overruns. The bridge will allow cyclists and pedestrians to get onto the East Bay bike path, which runs all the way down to Bristol. Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News.